What's up, New York? What a shitty week this is, man. Thanks for hanging in there with us. We appreciate you. So before we get the big press conference going, what I want to do is I'm going to call up uh, Habib and Ray Janelle, and uh, the media can ask some questions to these guys because obviously this is a brand new fight in the last several hours, and uh, and we'll talk about uh, anything you want to talk about for 10 minutes, and then that way once we start the press conference, these, these fighters have flown in from all over the world, so we'll show them the respect of, of asking questions about their fight. So we can get all this stuff out of the way here in the next 10 minutes. Cool? All right, let me get, uh, let me get Habib and, uh, and Rage and Al up here. Who has the first question? Dana, uh, yep. you know, crazy day for you, obviously, as you said, it's been kind of a bad week all week, but can you talk about just kind of what was happening behind the scenes today and, and what your emotion was like? Just you know, give us a little insight into what was going on. Yeah, so as soon as we found out that, that, that Holloway didn't make weight um, we, uh, and that he was medically unfit to, to continue to cut weight, you know, we started looking at the other guys on the card. Pettis, we jumped the gun too fast and said, you know, we were going to give Pettis the fight. Uh, Al, Iaquinta, and Felder were demanding the fight, going crazy, like wanted this fight badly. And I love that. And if you look at, you know, where Al is ranked and, uh, you know, his last five fights, he made the most sense. The problem with Al was he was 155.2, which isn't fight. Well, that was with his underwear on. The commission literally weighed his underwear, and they were .2, so he made weight. So to be clear on that, Dana, our assumption when this was made is that Al would not be eligible to win the lightweight title if he, if he won the fight because he was 155.2. Are you saying that the lightweight title is on the line for either of these guys? It is on the line. And, and so the, the title is on the line. Um, you know, as far as the commission goes, Habib is, is the one who is eligible for the title. But obviously, if Ray now wins this fight, he's the champ. I mean, it's... If you beat the man, you are the man. So, so I, mean, I mean, I know this is kind of weird, but to be clear, I know you're tired of talking about this damn lightweight title, but that's kind of an internal thing, like the, the commission doesn't view it as a title fight, but you're saying we as the UFC and the promotion? We as the fans and as fight fans and as the people know who the champ is if you win the fight. I mean, if you win the fight, you're the champ. To be the man, you beat the man. If you beat the man, it's hard to deny that he's not the champion. So we'll, all technicalities we will figure out after the fight. All right, thanks, Dana. Real quickly, if I could for the fighters. Al, that's, that's pretty big, exciting news for you for sure. I mean. Give us an idea what the emotion is like for you. And then, uh, you know, we were talking earlier this week, and we were talking about Max Holloway and him might be able to pull a, an upset on this special date, you know, one of the biggest upsets in UFC history. So can you talk about what your emotion is like, and especially, you know, on the anniversary of Matt Serra's big win? I don't know. I still don't know what the hell is going on that right now. Um, it's the opportunity of a lifetime right here, you know. Thank you, Khabib, for staying in the fight. And, uh, you know, I... This is the opportunity I'm looking for. Stay ready, seize the moment, and, and that's what I'm gonna do. And just the last thing for me, for, for Habib, I mean, you had a great speech earlier. You said if King Kong can make 155, I'll fight him. But I mean, this is the third opponent for you in a week. Was there any part of you that said, man, there's crazy stuff going on this week. This thing is cursed. Uh, I, I just should not take this fight. What? <laughs> Why? How, how, I, how I'm going to watch my old fans eyes if I'm going to say, oh, this is not good stylistic matchup for me. I want to become UFC champion. If I cannot beat Yaquinta Petis or Felder, how I can call this? I don't understand this. Hey, I am different mentality. I'm born from crazy mountains. 
you know, I'm born from, you know, I grew up very tough life, you know, how I'm gonna say this, like, hey, this is not good matchup for me. I, like when uh, Max Holloway out, they say Petis, Felder, Yaquinta, everything, but I wanna sleep, you know, I go sleep and I wake up and um, my brother Ali come to me and say, hey, everything is fixed, you fix, you're gonna fight for title. Okay, I'm very happy. And after five minutes, I ask him, hey, who's opponent? Who's opponent? He said, you crazy? Ya Quinta, you know? It's like this, this is who I am, you know? When you're ready, you have to fight. Of course, before I have a lot of injuries, you know, and nobody protects from injuries. Now it's my time, doesn't matter who. Tomorrow I have same goal, fight for the title, and you know, inshallah, I'm gonna do this. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks, Abid, and then just one last one for me, for, for Dana. I gotta ask, through everything that's happened, all that's been going on, all that happened today, this whole week, were you ever considering scratching this event, just saying, let's, let's, let's call it a loss? Um, you know, when you, when you start looking at losing the main event, we lost three fights, uh, you know, yesterday, and uh, yeah, you, it, it, it definitely, you know, was talked about, but at the end of the day, Fans bought tickets. There's people that flew in from other states and other countries. You got to roll, man. You got to figure it out and, and on with the show. So here we are, and uh, we'll be here tomorrow night. Thank you. No, thank you guys. We appreciate it. That's it? No more questions? Fans got any questions? Before I start this thing? Hey, hey, hey. Dan, Dan, I'm back here. Yep, I Andrew see you. Rosario on the scene sports. This question is for both the fighters. You could answer them one at a time. Um, given all of the craziness that's been going on this week, how have you been able to focus on getting into the ring tomorrow night? Thank you. Uh, it was a crazy week for me, you know. You guys, I think understand what I'm talking about um, focus focus about I think your mental you know if you're born with this you can focus you know my opinion you can you cannot teach your heart or mental you have to born with this it's my opinion no. thank you I come in here I got nothing to lose you know I'm focused I'm Focused on going out there and just having fun, having fun. Nothing, no pressure on my back, no pressure on my back. Go out there and do what I love to do. Who are you? Who the fuck am I? Who are you? Thank you. Hey, don't get and, him and, going, and, please. And, and, and Dana, Dana, as a yeah. follow-up, Dana, can I just ask you one question, Dana? Yeah. Given how popular Conor McGregor has been with this sport. Obviously, he's very popular. Um, yeah. can, can you foresee him coming back to UFC to fight in the near future? The, the one thing, so th this thing's so crazy. You know, he's being arraigned right now and uh, dealing with what he has to deal with. We're, we're dealing with this fight. Next week, we're going to go home and, and, and uh, figure out how this whole thing plays out. You know, it's, uh, it's a very unique situation that we're in. It's never happened in almost 20 years of doing this. So... We'll say, uh, Dana, quick, All right. over here, just a uh, quick question for you. Yeah. Just to be clear, if Ally Quinta wins tomorrow, are you actually going to put a belt around his waist? Will he be the champion? Like I said, you know, per the New York State Athletic Commission, this is not a title fight for him, you know. Um, it's an actual regulation. It's an actual reg that a guy who doesn't make exactly on weight cannot be the champion. Um, so we'll see. Obviously, if he wins this fight, we'll figure that out. We'll figure it out. And what about Paul Felder? How did he handle the news, and how are you going to deal with him? Um, well, everybody, all the guys that, that ended up not getting fights are going to get paid. They'll all get paid for not getting fights. Um, Is that the know, win and show, or just their show? Just their show. We don't yeah. have that much money, buddy. Okay. Um, you know, and, and we'll turn them around and get them fights again real quick. So, it's a, it's a, go ahead. Sorry, I just want to know if you talked to Connor since he left the court. No, I haven't talked to Connor. I talked to Connor yesterday before he turned himself in. We haven't talked since. 
Okay, and just for Al, if I can uh, interrupt your photo session. <laughs> Al, I'm not sure if you know this, but 11 years ago tomorrow, I know. your mentor, Matt Serra, shocked the world and knocked out George St. Pierre. When you found that out, clearly you know, do you believe in these kind of crazy things? Do you feel like this is destiny for everything that you've been through over the last couple of years to go down like this, the last New Yorker not to fight on a New York UFC card? You've wanted this for so long. Do you believe in this kind of stuff? Not really. I think, uh, I don't know, crazy things happen. You gotta, it, it just happened. It happened to be on this day and, you know, it, it, it's working out well for me so far. I just gotta go out there and get it done. Okay, just for Khabib, has anything in the last 24 hours distracted you? Like, was, the, was there a moment after yesterday, the, the incident, that you felt like you were getting distracted and needed to get back on track? Or have you been 100% focused despite all the, the madness of the last 24 hours? Uh, yesterday, a little bit, I, I met because people talk about me and my team inside the bus, you know? This is red corner team. You know, me and two guys with me. And you know, when I understand this guy wanna find me, of course, I try to go out, but security close the door. You know, don't let me go out. Like, you can ask every, even Yaquinta. Yaquinta and me, together in bus. You know, you can ask him. Like, pe people talk about I'm scared and I don't go out. Like, you can ask him or other guys, like, you know, and, uh, but if you want to find me, please just send me location, send me location, you know, hey, I, of course, I am UFC fighter, you know, a lot of people follow me, I have to show perfect, for example, but nobody perfect, when somebody like you, UFC fighter, talk about you bad, or he try to go bully with him, 100%, I'm going to give him back, thank you. Be honest, I hope he's gonna fix his problem and we're gonna fix between me and him problem. Out, inside the cage or outside the cage, doesn't matter. We have to fix this. Thank you. We good? All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna square these guys off and we'll get this thing started. All right, gang, let's roll the sizzle. <laughs> 